Hello everybody! You know, there isn't often that I get to really make videos and sit down and really talk about the news and stuff. So today I'm just gonna talk about a little bit of the things that Nintendo have been showing us in January. You know, that Nintendo, like, it, there, there's just something weird because they have been showing us, like, E3 type of content on now two Nintendo Directs this January. And I haven't really been able to, like, sit down and look at these and tell you guys what I think about them. Um, so now, okay, uh, January is over, and you know, I'm gonna sit here and tell you a little bit about Nintendo Direct and what I think of them. I might be a little bit late, but who cares? So, they had this first Nintendo Direct, uh, I'm not sure, it was kind of early in January, and they showed off this Pokemon X and Y. Yeah, I know this was a long time ago, but you know what, I wanna say what I think of it. And I'm not really into Pokemon that much, but the thing that's really cool about this though is that they actually really took a big step with this. I mean, it actually looks like real 3D, and that just really surprised me. Anyways though, I'm not really like the biggest Pokemon nerd, so I'm not gonna talk too much about this. But I just thought, wow, they actually did something new. This is what I expected them to do when they moved on to the 3DS, no, on to the original DS, to make something that was 3D. But they didn't, they kept it kind of 2D-like and they very slowly evolved the games. But finally they made something that really does look like 3D. So that's cool. Now, moving on to the really big news, because they had... A few weeks later they had a new Nintendo Direct. And oh my god, you know? This is what people consider to be like a little mini E3 for Nintendo. Like, wow, okay. So, um, the things though that they were announcing were like... Stuff like Zelda and Mario stuff and... I mean, okay, first of all, let's start with Zelda. Okay, so they had... They were talking about this new, like, Zelda. Okay, uh, I made a video a few months ago talking about some of the new things that the new Zelda is going to have. The game was going to have this um, cool, like, art style, this Skyward Sword art style, and I was a little bit disappointed about that because I was expecting, like, a new, like, really realistic-looking Twilight Princess type of game. Like we saw on that little video on E3 2011 or something. Um, so it was a bit disappointing to hear them uh, say that. Um, now also, with the uh, new information now though, uh, they went back to Cell of the Wind Waker and they were like playing around with the lighting and stuff. And they eventually came to this conclusion that they managed to make the game look really pretty just by doing a few adjustments to the lighting. So if you look at these pictures, we're seeing here, these are actually just some little project pictures, but then they announced that they are actually going to make these pictures and turn them into a proper Wind Waker remake, so that was like really cool. They kind of did the same thing with Zelda Ocarina of Time 3D, where they kind of improved the graphics, and at first they just said we're just gonna make this a little tech demo, but then they turned into a full game, and they're doing this again. I think this is great that Nintendo are making these remakes. Ocarina of Time remake was fantastic on the 3DS and I really cannot wait for the Zelda Wind Waker remake. I mean, just look at these pictures. I mean, a lot of people are kind of complaining about this new modernized style. People complained about the game when it came out, that it was cell shaded, it looked ugly. Now people are complaining about it again. I thought it looked great back then and I think it looks great now. I mean, it looks great, unlike, for example, Skyward Sword, where they tried to make a cell shaded look, and I understand what they were trying to do, but it just didn't look that good. I'm sorry, they took the cell shaded style from Wind Waker, combined it with the realistic character models from Twilight Princess, but it just didn't look good. Still, I do think if they do it right, the new Zelda game can look very good if they use this kind of lighting and this kind of style. Um, now about the new Zelda game. Okay, they're making this new Zelda Wind Waker that's gonna come out actually this fall, so that's great. It's gonna keep us busy while we're waiting for the new Zelda game. The game, they said, is going to stray a little bit away from the normal traditions of beating dungeons in a certain order and stuff. So they said they're maybe going to make it like an open world type of game. They didn't really say that right out, but it could possibly be that. And they're also hitting thing Hint, hint, that you could bring a friend, so that could possibly be a proper co-op mode or just that another player can point at the screen and click on the enemies to make them turn around and stuff, like in Super Mario Galaxy. 
they're going to like make big changes to Zelda. This new Zelda game is gonna be big and it's gonna be different. It's not gonna be the same stuff over and over. I'm not sure about you, but I thought that Skyward Sword was a lot the same. Just the same, I mean, really. What was new about it? I, I mean, okay, it had this flying mechanic. You could like fly around in this world above, but you know what? This whole Skyworld thing, it was a joke. I mean, all you could do was just fly between three different portals that took you to the world below, and I'm talking all about this in my review. It was just a waste of potential. How about having the entire game be about flying around from island to island? That would have been great, but no. I'm talking about this a lot in my reviews, you can see that. To find out about my opinion on Skyward Sword, I thought it was a fun game, but really it didn't do a lot of new things to the series. So I'm just totally ready, I'm completely ready for a new type of Zelda game that just totally blows me away with a really cool Skyrim-ish open world. Actually though, uh, Skyrim I also find to be a bit overrated. No, it was a damn fun game, I love Skyrim, but it's a, it's a bit overrated, I don't want it to be just like Skyrim. I don't want Zelda to be like Skyrim. But still though, something that's just brand new and open world, it sounds great. Now, other things that Nintendo talked about. I'm sure you've heard this from everybody else, but I'm gonna repeat it anyways. Nintendo are going to show us a new Mario 3D game, a new Mario Kart, and a new Super Smash Bros. on E3. Either pictures or properly trailers, or something, we're not even sure, but two of them are going to be playable as well. So we're gonna see some gameplay of those. I'm assuming Mario Kart and Super Mario, the new 3D game, are going to be playable. Smash Brothers probably needs a little more time, because the developer was just finished with Kid Icarus Uprising and all that. Yeah, you know, it's gonna take a little more time. And also, usually, like, the Mario 3D games come out earlier. Now, I guess the one thing I could talk about the most here is the Mario 3D game. It seems like the game might come out actually, like this fall or something. And it's basically developed by the same people who made the incredible Super Mario Galaxy, which I absolutely loved, both the first one and the second one. But there's a little problem to that. They also made the not so good Super Mario 3D Land. No, actually, I'm taking that back. You know, Super Mario 3D Land is a pretty fun game. It is, but it's just. Not that good, it's probably the worst of the 3D Mario game, but still not bad. I just, yeah, I'm going to make this review of Super Mario 3D Land, I'm going to talk about it. But you know, um, they made Super Mario Galaxy and that was fantastic, so I have faith in this company. I think they can make something great on the uh, Wii U. Now the question though is about this game. How is it going to be? Is it going to be like an open world type of Mario game like Super Mario 64? Because I would have just loved to see that. A game with a proper hub world and stuff. Or I'm actually assuming the game's going to be more linear type of game. Is it going to be Super Mario Galaxy 3 on the Wii U? Or is it going to be something brand new that takes advantage of the Wii U gimmick? I think that's what it's going to be. Something that takes advantage of the Wii U gimmick. I think that's probably the best thing to release first. And then a few years later, when people are tired of the Wii U gimmick, then they're going to release Super Mario Galaxy 3. I think that's what they're going to do. So I'm not going to speculate in what the game's going to be about, but it sounds great. Now for Mario Kart, yes of course, we have to have a new Mario Kart every, for every console pretty much. And you know, I'm not really that excited. Of course I'm going to get it, it's just going to be another Mario Kart. But you know, the Mario Kart games are fun. But I would actually rather like to see a new F-Zero game, but hey, we'll see what's coming from Nintendo. And of course there's the Super Smash Brothers, and I have a lot to say here as well about what I think should be in the game and what should not be in the game, but you know, I'm going to say that till later. So anyways, Nintendo has had a fantastic January with some great updates, and I think this was great for Nintendo to kind of reveal this kind of information before E3, because I just believe that at E3, you know, Nintendo are just going to be completely wiped away by the announcement of the new Xbox and the new PlayStation, and nobody's gonna care about Nintendo. So I think it was great that they could show us this now and not wait till E3, because I think that Nintendo just really needed to show us that they are actually going to make stuff on the Wii U, and this might also boost the Wii U sales. So just great job Nintendo, I love you, this was a fantastic gift in January, thanks Nintendo.